This is a really quick tutorial on how to use layer masks to create an illusion. So right now I have this woman holding her cell phone, looking out the airplane window, and the same person looking through, um, appearing through some blinds. Now I sourced these images from Pexels.com. It's free image sourceware. You can also use Adobe Stock or photos you have taken. So what we're going to do is start with this image of the woman looking outside of the airplane window and add in the person looking through the blinds. So my two images are this one, of course, and my second one of someone peeking through blinds. Now you're going to see this image is straight. Um, the lines are completely vertical. The person is almost eye level with us, whereas in the airplane window looking out, we have the window is skewed. So we're going to combine those two together. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with taking this whole image and I'm going to select all, I'm going to copy and go ahead and drop it and paste it into the other one. Now I know it's way too large. I'm not even going to worry about that right now. I'm simply going to close out this layer, go into my background and let the computer know where I want this to be. So I'm going to use my quick selection tool and select this window area. Now what you're going to see when I zoom in is that I have missed the strands of hair that cross over. So I'm going to go up to select and mask and use um, this tool, my Refine Edge Brush tool, and go ahead and select this area out. So all I need to do is simply paint over this and I can increase the size of my tool. And it's going to already know that I want the strands of hair. So I'm going to take a second. Now once you've selected that, go ahead and hit OK. And you're going to see the running ants that's perfectly selected. If you do have small areas that you don't want included, I can just hold on my Option key and take out this little bit that shouldn't have been included. There we go. Now I'm going to go to the layer that I do want to create into the mask. You can see it's already sized in there. And simply apply the layer mask. Now when you have something like this and you see it's not the right size, simply go over here and unlink the two of them, select the image that you want, and then you can transform. I just did a Command T. I can then move within this mask, move the image around, and the mask stays in place, but I can adjust my image separately from that. Whenever I'm done, I can simply link those two back up. So I'm going to do one more adjustment and unlink those, stay on the image, now, as I said, the blinds are a complete vertical and the window is skewed. So I'm going to transform this image so that these two areas are parallel. So I'm going to go into skew and simply take the center and slant. Again, I'm going to shift it over. It's within the mask range since they are unlinked and it's almost parallel right here. And now it appears that it's exactly on the same angle um, I can change perspective if I really want to pull this front forward and push this back, but I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. I can link these back up, and now if I did decide to move the mask, you're going to see it's going to move the whole thing together. There we go. So that's pretty much the entire tutorial. If I wanted to, I could go in, make an adjustment, change the brightness of this, but I don't really need to. The blinds here are backlit and so is her face. So it seems like the perfect illusion because the lighting is the same. So that's one of my key tips.